Hello everybody and welcome to this Fortnite video. As you can tell, we've got the Battle Pass here today and I may or may not have bought some more V-Bucks uh, to maybe get to tier 100, but if you missed out, here is every single skin in the Battle Pass that you'll be receiving. If you do purchase it, we've got the Drift, Huntress, uh, we've got, for some reason, basketballs. Uh, we've got a, a golf ball in here as well, and a, a beach ball. So there's now you can like actually play golf in the new area uh, that replaced Anarchy Acres. You can actually throw the basketball and make it. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, but of course, you got sprays, wallpapers, you know, loading screens, you know, crazy castles, sushi, gliders. We got the gentleman's dab, very nice. Um, and of course, we got banner icons, you know, the usual. You get some EXP boosts, some V Bucks, uh, of course. And uh, yeah, I actually, we got, uh, of course, harvesting tools, some back blings. Um, pretty cool learning screen over here we got rare trails of course making his return um, but more stuff as well over here we got this skin the red line looks pretty cool I dig it um, not my favorite one but it does uh, look pretty awesome we got this lug axe uh, not my favorite but it looks cool we got your awesome dance not bad not bad not bad but here's the golf ball um, and then we've got this trail which is pretty awesome the runic trail New favorite back blank to replace the rainbow backpack, the pool party. That one's sick. Um, and this glider is awesome. The conquest glider is really cool. Uh, it even has these, um, I don't know what they're called, like the rowing things, sticks. I don't know what they're called. Um, but they actually do uh, are animated, and it's really, really cool. Um, got uh, some more emoticons, sprays, we've got a uh, beach ball, of course. You know, uh, here's a calculated emote, <laughs> 2 plus 2 equals 4. We've got Sunstrider, skin, part of the Rescue Patrol set. Pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool skin. Uh, we go over here, uh, high explosives, <laughs> a little, little OG. Uh, glitch in the system, really cool contrail, I actually like this one a lot. Um, back bling here for rear guard pretty cool pretty cool we've got the fancy golf ball and of course I'm gonna you know just make a little little purchase here of maybe some tears uh, it wasn't me that I didn't use your credit card <laughs> I'm just kidding uh, but we've got the sledgehammer uh, skin this one looks pretty cool uh, we've got exp laser chomp banner we got swipe it we got exp again omen skin that's kind of interesting how they made these loading screens from season four like skins as like part of season five which me makes me think that the lore is still prevalent or something but who knows um we've got tattered here ice crystals uh, a spider maybe i don't really know uh more exp north llama friend exp boost a fancy beach ball so it just looks different uh, banner icon, red knight, uh, tasty dividend. We got the splashdown rescue patrol set, uh, glider, uh, <laughs> potato aim. That's for me here. Got exp boost, little there, we, little uh, banner. We got the t toilet paper contrail. This one's my new favorite one. Uh, bad apple bandolier. I got the rook skin. I actually do like the skin a lot. Very nice, very very kawaii. Um, we got a snake banner, friend XP, fancy basketball. We got a stinky, uh, sure, tomato head, yummy. We got breakdown. Very nice. Very, very nice. And then let's see what else we got. We got EXP, pot of gold, skull and beard. That looks sick. And the Ragnarok skin. Uh, there it is. All right. Ragnarok challenges 500 V bucks, and we are at tier 100. As you guys know, though, if we go into challenges, we've got the Ragnarok uh, challenges to gain 500,000 EXP to get ourselves the sick final uh, upgrade of the Ragnar Ragnarok skin. And of course, the Drift also has an upgrade all the way to the top, which looks awesome. Um, not only that, but we've also got a road trip challenge. So this is a new, like, I guess, blockbuster. We've got road trip, which, you know, uh, week seven, I'm assuming we'll get 
you know, this skin, which looks presumably like it's almost like another like mystic superhero type of dealer. He's like a hood or something. So that's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So this battle pass will be here for 74 days starting now. And I'm pretty excited. But let's hop into replays just so I can show you guys all the new areas as well if you missed out on them. Um, and honestly, it's pretty awesome to see all the new areas. I'm actually going to uh, really quick skip over here. And uh, we're just going to pause here and hop into drone free mode. So let's say if we go up here, you can actually scroll out of the map and see that it's changed quite a bit. If I hit M, uh, we've got um, a new area. Uh, Paradise Palms, Lazy Links, a new Viking area I like to call God of War Land. Um, besides that, Dusty Divot has also been updated a little bit. And uh, yeah, so I guess we'll start here with Paradise Palms. You come in through here, uh, it's basically completely removed uh, Moisty Mire, which is honestly not too, not too bad. Uh, for me, but you come in here and the racetrack has been completely redone. You can actually grab the, uh, the new ATKs, the new little drive drivable ATKs and and drive on this course, which is pretty awesome. I don't know if this is actually like act like it actually works with the starting line. I have to check that out myself, but racetrack looks amazing. Looks sick. Uh, then you come over here. You got a little uh, diner so that was actually leaked a while ago this sign here so you got a little diner looks nice not too not nothing too crazy and then you go over here you can see that there's a lot of open area which makes sniping really fun here I think this is gonna be a really cool area for the game to end on and I'm excited for that um, but over here we've got the new paradise palms which is a really cool city. I actually really like how it looks. Um, almost feels like a new tilted, like a mini tilted towers, basically. There's a lot of buildings to go in, a lot of areas to loot, and I really like this new building. I just love how, how the buildings are designed here. It actually looks really cool. Um, so I'm really excited. I can't wait to play this uh, once Playground is back to do like a hide and seek here. That'll be really fun. Um, of course, there's more areas back here. Uh, nothing too crazy, just sort of just random areas uh, that you can loot if there's some random chests that you can find, which is cool. Nothing too crazy, though. Uh, lots of open space. We've got a mini junk junction over here, a couple chests over here, probably like four. Eh, not an ideal landing spot, but there are chests just scattered everywhere over here, like just scattered around everywhere, um, which is good. So... You know, they're accounting for all the people who are landing here. So lots of open space over here. There's some dinosaurs over here, you know, because why not? Because, you know, why not? So some dinos over here, a little river that connects all the way to the end of the map. Um, and then we have this area. I don't really know what to call it, like these little villas, I guess, if you want to say. Kind of a small area to land, but if you want to land here, you can. Um... And then, of course, more open area, uh, open space, and we have an oasis next to the truck in Oasis, which is a little gas station. Again, nothing too crazy, just a little, a couple of uh, landing spots. There's a vending machine here, uh, but there are plenty of chests here in this new desert biome, which is pretty awesome. So now, if we skip over here, turn our drone speed up to four times, and head all the way over here. Uh, we have a new area to land at. I like to call it the God of War land because, I mean, it just it is so familiar if you've seen the new God of War to, uh, well, God of God of War. Um, of course, nothing has changed for Greasy Grove, Tilted, Shifty, Pleasant. Nothing has really changed for them. Um, if, it, if it did, I will let you know. But as you can see, you got a little Viking warship. Uh, not warship, but a little Viking ship there. Um, really cool places, but yeah, this just screams God of War, like the, the, the way the houses are built, it just feels like God of War, which I can appreciate, I think it's pretty cool. Obviously, it's based off, like, Norse, is it Norse, Norse mythology, I think? Um, <coughs> but, I mean, you know, I mean, God of War is, but who knows, who knows, maybe they were inspired. 
um, but it looks pretty sick. I, I like this place. Not a not a whole lot of chests to loot there, but it is a really cool place to land regardless. Uh, Shinobi has not been changed. Haunted hasn't been changed. Pleasant hasn't been changed. Junk Junction has not been changed. Loot Lake, neither. Uh, Motel, still fine, but Anarchy Acres has been completely taken out. Um, presumably because we already have Fatal Fields, which is so similar. And we now have Lazy Lynx. So, this is a huge golf course. You can actually play golf with the new golf balls that you get in game. And uh, you can just you know play some golf with the boys over here. And it's pretty cool. Again, um, decent spot to land at. Not a whole lot of chests though. So, there's, it's going to be like really heavily contested for chess here so cool spot to be not a i don't know if i would recommend landing here though to be honest um uh, anyways if we keep moving on um risky rules has stayed the same willing wood same tomato town is the same and uh <coughs> oh excuse me oh god oh god uh, so that's all been the same um this place is also still the same lonely lodge also nothing changed uh, I will say that around the map there are plenty of these little guys, which usually most of the time will have two to three chests with them, and 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 they have these rifts. So uh, these rifts you can actually teleport through them, and um, it's not guaranteed where you'll be. Um, I actually teleported through one and it killed me from fall damage, so you have to be a little careful with that. But Presumably, you can actually be teleported to other rifts in the game, which is pretty awesome. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think the last thing I can show you guys, uh, Retail Row is, of course, still the same. Uh, last thing I can show you guys is Dusty Divot. Uh, Salty is also still the same. Uh, and Fatal as well. But Dusty Divot now has a lot of trees, some more, some more, some ponds growing, uh, lots of vegetarian vegetation growing over here. Did I say ponds growing? I don't think you can grow ponds, uh, but uh, forming, I guess I should say. Um, so pretty cute. Uh, besides that, you can even see like uh, the meteorites like have like some vegetation growing on it. So it's like the times have passed since the uh, the meteor event, and uh, I think that's pretty cool. But like I said. A lot of small things are have been added to the map all around. So, um, you know, those little statues that I showed off earlier, there are a ton of them just like everywhere on the map. Um, I want to say up to five to seven, maybe five. Uh, but yeah, like three chests on this one. You keep going over here. I'm pretty sure there's one uh, like right over right over somewhere right over somewhere uh where is it I, I swear i knew there was another one pretty close by but maybe i'm just remembering things wrong but um if you find them usually there's like three chests on them. oh here we go there's another one at greasy grove again three chests um so pretty cool a uh, little mini landing spots if you'd like but I, that's all I've got time for today. If you guys are excited for Season 5, let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite skin. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye.